hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new to the channel i wholeheartedly welcome you to eat to live strong my name is shelly and today i'm going to show you how i crocheted this stylish two-tone bucket hat with ruffles i will be providing you with the instructions throughout the video but i will also have the pattern listed in the description box so let's go ahead and get started to get started you're going to need a size j crochet needle hook or whatever size you're gonna need compared to the yarn that you're using, the thickness of the yarn. You'll need a pair of scissors, you will need stitch markers, and a darning needle. I used two skeins, one of each color, of the Super Saver Red Heart. One was a sage green and the other one was a forest green. Now for the magic circle, you're gonna take the tail end of the yarn and hold it with your pinky between your ring finger. Do an X like underneath the three fingers. You're going to come up, lay it flat on the top. And then you're gonna take the hook, you're gonna go under, pull up a hoop, and then go under again, pull up another hoop, twist, and then you're going to chain three, and that's your magic circle. Once you've done your chain three, you're going to yarn over, go through the circle, pull up a loop, yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two that completes a double crochet you're going to do that a total of nine times which will actually equal to 10 double crochets in the loop keep in mind that that very first double crochet is the three chains that doesn't really count until you're at the end of each row. And we will talk about that throughout this project. For round two, you're going to have a total of 20 double crochets, not including the chain three. You're going to put the chain three, then have your two double crochets, and you're going to have two double crochets all the way around the perimeter of the circle, except for the last one, you will have one double crochet, because remember, it will marry the chain three, which makes them a double crochet of two. So you will have a total of 20 double crochets. You are now back around. Remember, you may be tempted to put two double crochets in this spot because you're used to doing two double crochets, but do not do that. Only put one double crochet in that spot, and then you're going to slip stitch at the top of the third chain that makes it two double crochets. Then you're going to chain three and be prepared for the next round. And now for round three. Round three has a total of 30 double crochets. You are to chain three, go into that same spot and add one double crochet. And the pattern for this round is one double crochet in one spot, two in the next. One double crochet in one spot, two in the next. So you're gonna go all the way around and when you get to the end, you should only put one double crochet in that spot because it has to marry the three chains at the beginning of the round. That will take you over to round four. Mm -hmm. 
Now for the end of round three. Be sure to only place one double crochet in the spot. Do not put more than one double crochet because it must marry the chain three. Once you do the slip stitch at the top, you should have a total of 30 double crochets. Then you're going to chain three and you're now ready to go to round four. And now for round four. Round four will have a total of 40 double crochets. This pattern is the same as the other two rounds. You're going to do your chain three, then you're going to go into that same exact spot with the chain three, and you're going to add a double crochet, go to the next spot and add another double crochet, and then the next spot you're going to add two double crochets. So for this round, the pattern is one double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochet. Go all the way around and when you get over to the end, please remember to only add one double crochet because it must marry the chain three, which will give you a total of 40 double crochets. Don't forget at the end of the round to only add one double crochet in the last spot, slip stitch at the third and chain three. And for round five, you're going to chain three, and then inside that same stitch, you're going to add a double crochet. Round five is gonna give you a total of 50 double crochets, which means that you will put a double crochet in the first spot, double crochet in the second spot, double crochet in the third spot, and in the fourth spot, add two double crochets. That gives you a total of five double crochets. You're gonna make that pattern all the way around. When you get back around, do not be tempted to put in two double crochets. Only put in one double crochet so it may marry the three chains from the beginning of the round. around please remember to only put one double crochet in the very last empty spot so that it may marry the chain three from the beginning of the round once you chain stitch to the top of the third you're going to go ahead and single crochet three times so that you can start round six Round six will give you a total of 60 double crochets. But let me tell you how you can tell which round you're on by counting the different circles. One, two, three, four, five, and now six. So again, round six is gonna give you a total of 60 double crochets. You have your chain three, but in that same spot, you're going to put a double crochet in that spot with it. Remember that first set of chain three does not count in your stitching until it gets to the end. So the pattern for this round is one double crochet in one spot, one in the next spot, one in the next spot, one in the next spot, and then two in the next spot. And you're gonna do that all the way around until you get to the end, but make sure you only put one double crochet in that last empty spot so you can marry it to the chain three by slip stitching at the top of that third stitch. I am stopping here in the demonstration, but please continue with row seven and eight. Seven will have 70 double crochets and eight will have 80 double crochets. Just be careful with the stitching and remember the very last spot is only to have one double crochet in it. So it could marry the chain three. So I'm going to continue to crochet. And again, don't forget that the pattern will be labeled in the description box.
this should measure nine inches depending on how thick your needle and your yarn is. I am changing out the yarn here, but you may keep it at whatever color you desire. Now what we're going to do is we're going to chain one and we're going to put a double crochet around the entire diameter of the hat. We're going to do this three complete times. And after the third one, I'll see you back because we're gonna do some decrease. You should have now gone around the parameters three consecutive times. At the third time, you're gonna go ahead and do what we call decreasing. You're going to chain one and then go inside of the next space, pull up a loop. Then you're gonna go through the next space and pull up another loop. You should have three hoops on your hook, pull through all three. Now use your stitch marker to mark the very first stitch on this row. You're only gonna decrease one row. So now you're gonna go back into the next vacant space, pull up a loop, go back in and pull up another loop. You have three hoops on your hook, pull through all three. And you're gonna go all the way around doing the same thing and I'll meet you back at the end of the round. I see you made it back around and safely. Now the hat's gonna have some wavery looks to it because you have decreased the, the actual stitches around the parameter of the hat. So now you, what you're gonna do is chain three and you're going to mark your spot again with your stitch markers because you wanna make sure that you come back at the same spot so you can start your next level. I did this three times around for my ruffles, but you can make it as high and as fluffy and as fabulous as you would like. What you would do in this next step here is you're going to, of course, like I said, chain three, and then in each spot, you are going to put three double crochets in each and every spot. This is making the ruffles and it's gonna go back around. And once you get back to the stitch marker, guess what? You're gonna chain three, go up another level and make it as fabulous as you like. So that concludes the video. I'll just let you sit back and relax and enjoy because you don't need me anymore because you're gonna be able to make this hat and be fabulous as always. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget, the pattern is in the description box. So please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified of all my videos when they're uploaded. Share me out because sharing is caring. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you as a subscriber. Also, I have membership. Please be sure to look at the perks. And if it's something you would like to be involved with, please smash that join button to become a member. Also, I have an ebook on juicing healthy, healthy juicing for your life. 20% of the proceeds go towards the National Multiple Sclerosis Society. So as I always say at the end of each and every one of my videos, God bless you. See you next time. Love you long time. Bye-bye for now.